Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Closet. Welcome back to my channel. So today my video is a travel vlog. So about three weeks ago, we were in Hambantota and stayed at the beautiful Shangri-La Hotel in Hambantota. So I thought I will take the opportunity to show you guys around the hotel and uh, to show you guys what we did during our stay. I have also put together a small review regarding the Shangri-La Hotel Hambantota. So hope you guys will enjoy. So before we go on to the video, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is G and my channel is about luxury fashion, beauty and travel. So if you are interested in videos related to these topics, do subscribe to me and help me grow my YouTube family. Subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Also follow me on my Instagram gsclosset.lk. So let's jump into the vlog. From the main road, you will see this board which says Shangri-La Hamban Thota. So you turn off from this point. So as soon as you turn off at this point, you will see the hotel entrance. So this is the main gate to the hotel. So since there is a golf course in the hotel, there is a bit of a drive until you go into the lobby area. Guys, you can see this is the beautiful entrance to the lobby area of the hotel. So this is basically what you see from the lobby of the hotel. It's a beautiful landscape. Due to COVID, we have to uh, follow some procedures when entering the hotel. So we have to basically um, give our details and they have to check our temperature and so on. And you can see towards the left side, you get the uh, reception counter. So this is where you do your uh, checking and um, you collect your room keys and all. So they will definitely uh, brief you on what activities they have and they will give you a welcome drink as well. So the welcoming uh, to the hotel was amazing. The service given at the check-in counters were amazing. So you can see in the hotel there is a small centerpiece which uh, shows peacocks uh, as the centerpiece. So this is because you find a lot of peacocks around this area. It was a bit of a walk towards your rooms. We were in the fourth floor, so we didn't have an um, ocean view, but instead we had a lagoon and the golf course view, which was also beautiful. So this is our room, guys. So you can see uh, we booked a triple room. So what they have done is basically um, onto a double room, they have included an extra bed. So there is also a little balcony for the room so you can see this is the view that we had during our stay it was definitely a beautiful view guys it was quite relaxing so you have the lagoon view and of course the uh, golf course view So the balcony was also arranged beautifully. They had a nice um, 
couch and of course a nice chair and a little coffee table you could just sit and relax here i of course really love to have my morning coffee seated outside relaxing by the lagoon so quickly my outfit for the day was uh, these black jeans from mango with my uh, valentino rock stud slippers of course as the handbag i'm carrying my hermes garden party 36 in gold and as per the top i'm wearing my balman blue t-shirt together with the louis vuitton epi belt so this is my look for the day so later we went for lunch so we were on full board so we had all three meals uh, every day so i thought i will show you guys what we ate so this is the buffet restaurant so this was called the bojun hala so this was the only restaurant open during our stay because of covid they have closed down most of the restaurants but they do have like a fine dining restaurant as well So as you can see we have to always wear our mask and wear a disposable glove to serve in the buffet and this is the salad section. I thought they had a quite a big selection for salads. the soup they had a leek and potato soup uh, for lunch that day and for bread rolls they had a selection of bread rolls so you can either select brown bread white bread I mean uh, they had quite a bit of a selection for bread rolls so for mains they had a western corner an eastern like a south asian uh, corner and a sri lankan corner as well which was uh, a big uh, selection uh, as the main course so they had a few mediterranean dishes as well which i thought was lovely so this is mainly the western section <laughs> After the western section we moved on to the southeast asian section so this was mainly chinese and a uh, thai so right after the southeast asian corner we had the sri lankan corner they had done an amazing job with the Sri Lankan food as well guys. So next to Sri Lankan corner they had a small soup corner as well. Again this is a hot pot sort of a thing. And of course they had a pasta section as well so you could make your own pasta according to your taste and finally there was a, a chef's special Sri Lankan corner okay so now we are going to the favorite part which is the dessert I thought the dessert were amazing they had a quite a number of selections So 
so guys after lunch i was feeling so heavy so had to do some workout to get all those calories out so we did hit the gym so this is the gym that they have and i thought it's a pretty good gym quite equipped <laughs> So because it was the first day we were a bit tired after traveling from Colombo so we thought we will relax a bit by the pool and of course I didn't get into the pool because I was not in a mood to uh, swim at that point so what we did was we just uh, relaxed by the pool and later uh, in the evening we had our dinner again dinner was at the same uh, buffet restaurant so for dinner my outfit was this black maxi dress again I bought this dress recently and guys again I'm wearing my rock stud slippers <music> And guys now I will again show you guys the dinner uh, selection I thought the dinner was much better than the lunch so they had an even bigger uh, selection for dinner Day two, my outfit for breakfast was um, these shorts and a top and I'm wearing my usual Valentino uh, rock stud slippers with the red pair of shorts. So as per the top, I'm wearing my um, new top which I bought from ASOS. So for earrings, I'm wearing my Chanel CC earrings and of course my Chanel sunglasses. <music> So that's my look for breakfast. Thank you. 
On day two after breakfast, we thought we will just explore the um, hotel. There were lots of um, activities that you could do in this hotel, so we thought we will try a few activities. I wanted to show you guys what else you could do. So they have a separate game uh, area so you can play table tennis and pool in this area um, also uh, there is a special area for kids so I thought these were amazing activities for kids as well as adults and after the activities we wanted to have a nice drink in the afternoon because it was really warm so um, you get a separate pub area uh, so this is um, called the clubhouse and um, of course there is a um, golf shop adjoining to this area so I wanted to get some stuff from there as well so I did a bit of shopping as usual so this is the golf pro shop and again you get a second pool table inside this pub area okay so on the second day I was in the mood to do a little bit of swimming so did go again to the pool area and was relaxing by the pool so guys you can also order your drinks and your food uh, in the pool area as well so we of course got ourselves some drinks so you can see this is the pathway to the beach there is a door which um, will be open to the beach area so I went uh, walking towards this area after 6 so basically they close the door after 6 so it has to be before that they do have a special uh, walk organized um, around the beach you can definitely uh, ask for assistance from the reception so they will guide you I didn't want to do the walk on that day but would have been nice if I stayed for a little longer I think I would have done the uh, beach walk as well and I heard that they also have a cycling track as well so they also take you around the hotel and outside of the hotel to the lagoon and all that so you could definitely do some of these activities as well So guys, it was time for us to say goodbye to uh, Hamban Hotel Shangri-La Hotel. So my outfit uh, for the trip from Hamban Hotel to Colombo was this. So I'm wearing my um, baggy pants, which I bought some time ago. It's quite comfortable. Again, my rock stud slippers with my black top. And of course, I wanted to show you guys, I carried my Horizon 55 bag with the garden party. So this is my look for the trip. That's it from me today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my travel vlog. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions regarding the Shangri-La Hotel Hamban Thota, do leave a comment down in the comment section below. I will definitely answer all your questions. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, have a great week and stay safe.